am the sniper of the intimidating Straw Hat Pirate crew. To thank you for trusting me, I'd rather risk my life here. My name is Usopp. Remember it. From now on, I'm going to become your legendary hero. Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today, we will be examining the bravery impaired sharpshooter of the Straw Hats, Usopp. Usopp is a tanned and exceptionally long-nosed boy who was first introduced in the series during the Syrup Village arc. Other than his nose, Usopp's most defining feature is his constant lying. And we're not talking little lies either. We're talking huge, over-the-top, world-breaking exaggerations that are often used for comic effect in the series. This habit comes directly from his childhood after his father Yasop left the family home in Syrup Village to become a pirate. Sometime later, Usopp's mother fell fatally ill and Usopp would run through the village yelling that pirates are coming in the hopes of strengthening her spirits by making her think that Yasop had returned home. After his mother passed away, Usopp continued to tell this lie on a daily basis to cope with the pain of having lost both of his parents in one way or another. And while this did become an annoyance to the rest of the villagers, they tolerated his antics and even began to use the daily false pirate alert as somewhat of an alarm clock. However, Usopp's lies would find a home with a young girl living in the village named Kaya. Like Usopp's mother, Kaya was a very sickly girl and Usopp would tell her made up stories about his quote unquote adventures to cheer her up. Usopp found further allies in three young children and even began a pirate crew with them, rather creatively named the Usopp pirates. Eventually, the beginnings of the Straw Hat crew landed at Syrup Village in search of a ship, with Usopp almost immediately bonding with Luffy due to the fact that he had actually met his father Yasop, who was now a part of the Red Hair Pirates. Shortly after, a ploy by the Black Cat Pirates to kill Kaya and sack the village was discovered, and although Usopp warned the town about the impending attack, they paid him no mind because, well, that was essentially the same thing he said every day, just slightly more detailed. Even the captain of the Black Cat Pirates allowed Usopp to flee because he knew that nobody would believe him. And so Usopp alongside Luffy, Zoro and Nami fought off the Black Cat Pirates on their own, managing to defeat Kuro, Django and the other weirdos. In the end, Usopp requested that the attack be kept a secret so as not to distress the village. However, Kaya and Mary, who had become part of the conflict, knew about their brave actions and rewarded the crew by gifting them the Going Mary. Usopp then decided that it was time he set out to sea in order to pursue his dream of becoming a brave warrior of the sea. And after a socially awkward exchange, Usopp ended up officially joining the Straw Hat Pirates. Throughout Usopp's journey with the crew, he has gradually, and I mean very gradually, made strives towards achieving his dream. However, these moments have been exceptionally important and generally involve Usopp standing up to an individual infinitely stronger than him. Sometimes these bursts of courage and ingenuity can be as a direct result of Usopp wanting to further his own personal growth, but he has also been known to put his life on the line for the sake of others. With that said, Usopp is often portrayed as one of the more comedic characters in the series, which can be seen in particular when we delve into his arsenal of attacks, which includes Usopp's spell, Usopp rubber band of doom, and Usopp noise. Usopp also brings a lot of miscellaneous skill to the Straw Hat crew, particularly in the fields of artistry and engineering. In fact, Usopp was the one who actually made the iconic Straw Hat pirate Jolly Roger. In addition to that, he was the creator of Nami's climb attack, and prior to Frankie joining the crew, Usopp even served as a shipwright. However, Usopp's greatest skill most certainly lies in the area of marksmanship. As a result, Usopp's weapon of choice is various forms of a slingshot, with a a wide variety of strange ammunition that when combined with his superhuman eyesight and ability to calculate factors such as trajectories and wind influence almost instantaneously make Usopp an incredibly dangerous person to face in long range combat. Conversely, Usopp has next to no close range combat ability. However, when forced into such situations, he has been known to equip himself with dial technology. Although he does not possess the strength necessary to use the impact dial in particular without severe physical ramifications. With that in mind, Usopp does possess an incredible amount of endurance for what is essentially a regular human being. A perfect example of this would be during the Water 7 arc, where Usopp was able to take multiple attacks from Luffy before finally succumbing to his power. Speaking of, this moment is actually very important in regards to an examination of Usopp's character, as it showed for the first time just how far Usopp was willing to go in order to protect his core beliefs. Upon arriving at Water 7, the Going Merry, gifted to them by Kaya, was deemed unrepairable, and Luffy made the decision to say goodbye to the Merry and buy a new ship. Usopp saw this decision as quite cruel, accusing 
Luffy of abandoning a comrade just because they had become useless, and even proposed that Luffy may one day do the same to him. In a fit of rage, Usopp then left the Straw Hat Pirates and challenged Luffy to a duel to decide who was going to keep the going merry. Usopp fought valiantly and did surprisingly well against Luffy, however he was inevitably defeated. Too ashamed to face the crew after this event, Usopp developed a new persona in the guise of a superhero named Soga King. Soga King acts very much like the regular Usopp except that he has a much deeper voice and addresses everyone with the suffix Kun. This alter ego allowed Usopp to fight alongside the Straw Hats as it served as a perfect disguise to the more intellectually challenged members of the crew, essentially meaning Luffy. Although Usopp did eventually tearfully apologize for his actions and was welcomed back into the crew with open arms. But Usopp's personal development would not stop there. When the Straw Hats were separated by Bartholomew Kuma, Usopp was sent flying to an island called Greenstone, which is part of the Boeing Archipelago. Despite being home to some aggressive giant bugs and man-eating plants, Greenstone also contained a location known as the Forest of Gluttony, to which uh, Usopp may have indulged a bit too much in. But it would be on the Boeing Archipelago that Usopp would be trained by Heracles for two years in the art of growing and utilizing a unique series of plants known as Pop Greens. And when Usopp rejoined the crew after the time skip, he displayed an incredible amount of proficiency in using these plants for a wide variety of situations, as well as became noticeably more buff in general. However, even after acquiring these new skills, Usopp still struggles with bouts of extreme cowardice, although he has displayed a tremendous level of bravery compared to his pre-time skip self. In particular, during the Dress Rosa arc when he decided to take on Treble and Sugar alone after Nico Robin and the Tontata tribe had been incapacitated. And while this didn't go very well for Usopp at all at first, his actions did lead to a series of events that culminated in the defeat of one of the seven warlords of the sea, as well as him being given the epithet God Usopp. And to top everything off, he was awarded a bounty of 200 million berries by the Marines. A truly, truly ridiculous amount, because it's Usopp. And so Usopp continues to steadily grow, not entirely free of his coward-like tendencies, nowhere near it actually, but this man is slowly but surely taking strides towards his goal of becoming a brave warrior of the sea. Some more fun facts about Usopp. Usopp is one of the few straw hats who currently has access to any form of haki, which was discovered when he awakened an ability to use observation haki during the Dress Rosa arc. Prior to Usopp having a bounty of his own, his alter ego Soga King was recognized by the world government, who issued a 30 million berry bounty on the superhero's head. Following the Straw Hat's visit to Skypiea, the citizens of the Sky Island created a theme park dedicated to Usopp named Rubber Band Land, complete with a statue depicting him as a muscular warrior. A further statue dedicated to Usopp exists on Dress Rosa, but this one depicts him in a more, uh, accurate fashion. Despite usually crafting such outrageous lies, Usopp's words have a tendency to actually come true. For example, Usopp told Kaya lies about fighting a giant goldfish, visiting a country of dwarves, and of course his staple lie of pirates coming to attack the village. All of which and more have actually come true. And finally, a truly useless fact, when questioned by a fan whether Usopp or Kaku had a longer nose, when questioned by a fan on whether Usopp or Kaku had the longest nose, Oda answered that it was indeed Usopp due entirely to its rounded tip. And that pretty much does it for Usopp. If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And if you are in any way inclined to support this independent channel, then also please feel free to check out my Patreon, Discord server, or Twitter, the links to which are in the very handy description below. And finally, please do comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next One Piece 101.